Say, cutie, what brings a hot tentacle babe like you to a dump like this? I'm looking for a pet. Sorry, honey, you came to the wrong place. These three are problem humans. Untrainable, disobedient, downright surly. He's just jealous because we've got opposable thumbs. Someday you will accept tentacles as your masters. Heh, <laughs> you losers can't even ride tricycles. See why no one wants them as pets? I'm, uh... Really? Well, what are you doing for dinner? How about Club Tentacle? Ah, what am I saying? I can't afford to take out the trash, let alone a classy babe like you. <sighs> Don't you re- Uh, no, I, uh... Hey, aren't you the waitress from Club Tentacle? I love that place! I'd be there right now if I weren't flat broke. I'm here by accident. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. I think it controls the force field. Get away from that. That's my job. Hey, no pets. You might spook the humans. Yeah, good thinking. That's one of the few places where fake barf isn't useful. <laughs> Stupid tentacle. I can't. Hmm, looks like there's some kind of rodent down there. I can't pick it up. Maybe I can open it. Good, but what's the occasion? I would, but who would see it? You're ready to go now. That would look good, but what's the occasion? That would look good, but... Hello, my silent gauze-wrapped friend. Do you think it's strange me talking to a mummy? It's not so different from talking to specimens at med school. Except that they're usually a bit more open. I really should go now. Call me sometime, okay? It's that guy from the Hawaiian cop show. I would, but who would see it? Hello? I really should go now. Call me sometime, okay? Well, that's the spirit! <laughs> 
Everyone's raring to go. Let's get this show on the road. Ah, here we come. My finest hour. You'd have to really hate somebody to pull a mean trick like that. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you think that's funny? Listen to this. When are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. Wow, for a mummy, that's some great looking hair. Yes, it has a certain meatiness. But does it have stars and lightning bolts? No, Harold is still the best. But if Harold were to say, drop dead, I'd give first place to the mummy. Agreed. Judges, if you weren't feeling well. Oh, ick! Now, how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well? I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm a nasty human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots. You're a good-looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. <laughs> What a mess. I hate cleaning up after humans. Hey, don't you think you should judge best hair again? Oh, all right. That's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. The mummy wins. Agreed. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best smile? Oh, all right. the quiet one with the big teeth. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agreed. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best laughing? <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, 
Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy are my suction cups tired. <laughs> oh, classic. Huh. 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 It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Agreed. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done. Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my favorite Edison. Great, Scott. You're purple. Uh, um... Yes? Well, don't you just look good enough to eat? What's that supposed to mean? You're not a human sympathizer, are you? I think humans are the vilest creatures on the planet. That's the spirit. You know, I'm working on a way to get rid of the humans once and for all. So, what are you plotting? I'm building a shrinking ray, which I can use to shrink those pesky humans out of my sight for good. Tell me more about this shrinking ray of yours. I call it the Diminuator. The biggest problem of that is to design a trigger that doesn't require fingers. If you will excuse me, I've got something in the oven. Anyone I know, eh? Hmm. What? According to these, the tentacles control most of the world already. I don't want to disturb anything with Santa Claus over their eyeball. I don't want to disturb it. Tentacle? I can't wait to tell my wife. You're free. Free to do what? Free to, to run wild through the woods like humans should. Big deal. I said you're free. Now get off your fat, lazy butts and start enjoying it. Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. The woods are filled with wild animals, lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. Hey, look, a skunk. Come back here, you mangy humans! You can't do this! This is an escape-proof facility! Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? Lieutenant, I want to ask you something. It may trouble you. 
Ask away, sir. I can take it. I've got a strong stomach, nerves of steel, bowels of brass. Sir Cannon, son, this is important. Have any of your friends seemed a bit firm lately? Oh, heck. You mean like non-squishy and non-slimy? That's right. Come closer. I've recently become suspicious that humans might try to infiltrate us. No! Though basically stupid, they can be tricky. They may be in disguise. I wonder if that still leads down to Dr. Fred's old lab. I hope this isn't like the primitive, dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. Uh-oh. That was fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. This ought to warm him up. I don't think so. Look at that sucker go! He just keeps running and running and running. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. Ah! 
a miracle of modern science. It will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. Can't talk. Busy making history. It looks kind of small for me. I got something good for you, mister. Uh, mister. Mr. Brainstorm? Yes, hand it over. Hmm, doesn't this belong to somebody? Yeah, Red Edison. Ah. I'm sorry, but the man has no vision. A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will fly. Hmm. Eureka! The all-season Francocopter, ready to make history. No, there's no fuse. So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything. You just push it. The whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now. Then push the kite into the air, all right? I'm on you, lasagna. Let's hope so. Now! Oops. What part of the word now didn't you understand? The Look, it's very simple. I say now and you push the kite. Comprenez-vous? Got it. Marvelous! Interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. Wish me luck. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. I'm sorry, the Credotron shows that account to be empty. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. I'd rather not. Mm -hmm. 
Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. Sign it or I'll get real mad. And do what? Not be my friend anymore? Ha ha ha. The party of the first, a cri- Will you please- I don't- Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of Purple Tentacle myself. Oh, yeah? How? I'm getting Purple Tentacle declared insane and arrested. That's a good idea. But I need a note signed by a doctor. Oh. Hey, I'm a doctor. We're in luck. Well, good luck. I don't wanna. Yes, what do you want? Hi there, is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called, Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. This is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we, uh, have to pay you two million dollars in back royalties. Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? This is Farley Crock. No, I heard that, you moron. When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Operator, get me a travel agent. This is an emergency. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post Lightspeed Delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Now that's service. I better get this to Dr. Fred right away. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming. According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch! Great! Hoagie! I'm so happy to... Hi! Laverne! Wow! I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the sledge matic Huh? Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... Ha <laughs> ha! You can't turn off the machine if I get there first. I know I can stop him. Uh-oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go. No, wait! You can't all go in the same stall. Didn't you see the...
the fly! We're... We're... We're some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life, listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now, wait just a minute. It's Green Tentacle! It's Green Tentacle. What was that, Green? Green Tentacle behind you! What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge o and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Yikes. You see, I have been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronojon. Together, we will conquer the world. You ten there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge man to recharge, but it will. Shh! Maybe he won't find us. Yoo-hoo! Where are you, human? 